Hello and welcome back. I'm Joseph Hoffman and in this lesson we're going to learn a folk song called The Wild Horses. Let's have a listen. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. Stamp on the ground now, tramp on the ground now. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. To learn the wild horses today, we're going to be using the bass clef we use for all those low notes, middle C and lower. Let's quickly review a few of our guide notes. Can you tell me the name of this note? If you said F or bass F, you're correct. It's on that line with the two dots. And of course we've got up here our middle C. And down here, a note we've learned recently, our bass C. Now for the wild horses, we'll start on this note. You can see I moved it from this space note up to the line, which means it's just one step higher. So if this is C, what would this note be? If you said D, you're correct. Now let's add some more notes stepping up from that D. If this is D, can you point and name these other notes? Go. If you can see that these are stepping, you'll notice this pattern of line, space, line, space, line. When you see that pattern, you know the notes are stepping. So this has to be D, E, F, G, and what's a step above G? It's A. So this is, these are the notes of the D minor pentascale. And that's the pentascale we're going to use for the wild horses. Let's try to sing this pentascale once. I've got this red note on do, and we'll have do, re, me, fa, so. Now point and sing with me. Go. Do, re, me, fa, so. Now in the first phrase of wild horses, we start on do, and then we skip up. Notice how I took away that re. Now we have do, me, fa, so. Now point and sing with me. Go. Do, me, fa, so. And then after that so, see if you can tell me what happens. I'll sing and tell me if the notes continue to step up, step down, or repeat. Ba, 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 ba. What did you hear after we got here? Ba, 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 ba. If you said repeat, you're correct. The notes stayed the same. So now let's describe how the notes are moving like this. Let's say start, skip up, step up, step up, repeat, repeat, repeat. Now try it with me. Go. Start, skip up, step up, step up. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Now, in order to fit all the notes, let me just scoot these over real quick. Now, I'm going to sing the rest of the first phrase of the Wild Horses, and I want you to tell me if you hear the notes repeating some more, stepping up, or stepping down. Ba, 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 ba. What did you hear? You said the notes are stepping down. You're correct. After we get these repeats of the wild and running horses. And then you might have noticed that those last two notes have a repeat. So, fa, me, re, do, do. Point and sing with me. Starting here, go. So, fa, me, re, do, do. Let's try to sing the whole line in sol solfege. Starts on do, skips up to me. Remember, we're in minor, so we say me for this third note of the scale. Go. Do, me, fa, so, 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 fa, me, re, do, do. Okay, go ahead and hold your left hand up in the air with me. Yes, we are using left hand today since we're in bass clef. 
And a quick review of finger numbers. Can you wiggle your left hand finger one? If you're wiggling here, you're correct. Remember, thumbs are always one. So left hand or right hand, your thumb is one. Now wiggle your left hand finger five. If you're wiggling pinky, you're correct. And that's the first note of the wild horses. We have this and then a skip up. So wiggle the right finger number for a skip above do. That's finger number three. So we have this is the dance. In solfege, that's do, me, fa, so. Now your turn. Sing and move your fingers. Good. And then after we get up there to so, we have some repeats. So, so, so. Your turn. Good. And then we have some stepping down notes. We have so, fa, me, re, do, do, with a repeat at the end. Now you try. Good. Now let's try it with our lyrics. My turn. This is the dance of the wild. Now your turn. So remember, we have a repeat until we get to the word wild of the wild. And then after wild, we step down. Wild and running horses. Now your turn. Sing and move your fingers. Good. Now let's try it on the piano. Now, as I mentioned, today we're using the D minor pentascale. And since we're in bass clef, remember, kingdom of bass clef is from all the notes middle C and lower. So wherever your middle C is, you're going to come down here to the first D below middle C, just a step above this bass C. And you'll remember that for D major, we use this F sharp, so me and fa can be a half step away. But for minor, this becomes F natural. A natural is just the plain white note. So here's our F natural. Can you point and name each of these notes with me? Go. D, E, F, G, A. So go ahead and let your left hand finger five find your nearest D below your middle C. And remember we had a do, then we skipped up, me, fa, so, and then two step ups. This is the dance. Now you try. Good. And then we have those repeats. This is the dance of the wild. Now you try. Good. Now let's start on wild and step down. Wild and running horses. Now you try. Good. And when we put it all together, we get this is the dance of the wild and running horses. Now you try. Sing and play. Very good. Now, if you feel like you need more practice with that, pause the video for extra practice. Otherwise, let's continue on and take a look at the score. Now, when I say score in music, I'm not talking about like a sports score, like treble clef three, bass clef two. This score in music means the sheet music. It's kind of a fancy word that musicians like to use. They're like, show me the score. And that means, hey, show me the printed music on the page. So in the score of the wild horses, let's take a look at this first line. You'll see in a score, you've got the note heads that tell you if the notes are going up or down. You also have these stems and beams that show you the rhythm. They're combined all together in one system. Let's point together and speak the rhythm words. We'll say ta for the quarter notes and tt for pairs of eighth notes. Try it with me. Point on your screen and speak the rhythm. Ready? Go. Ta ti ti ta ti 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 ta ta. Good. Now you'll notice we've got these arrows. Don't worry about those. We'll use those in our next lesson when we add chords. Now here on the score with me, can you point and say if the notes are stepping, skipping, or repeating? Try these first four notes on your own. Say start, then what? 
you should have said start, skip up, step up, step up. And then what do these notes do? Say it for me. That's right, here are repeating notes. Repeat, repeat, repeat. Then say these with me. Step down, step down, step down, step down. Then what? We finish with a repeat. And that's what we just learned how to play. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. Now, will you take a look at line two and tell me what you notice? If you check every single note, you'll notice they're exactly the same as line one. So when we have patterns like this in music, we like to use uh, capital letters. A for line one, and then if it repeats again, we call this line another A. Now, what about line three? Same or different? If you said different, you're correct. So we'll call this line B. Now, can you tell me how these two notes are moving? First, let's figure out what note we start on. Here we are in bass clef. What note do you see here? You'll see it's just a step above our bass C space here. So we know that that's a D. Same note we started on for this line, but now here it changes. So, what do these two notes do? Start on D, repeat, then what comes next? Can you tell me how these two notes are moving? Here we get a skip up. You can tell because it goes from that line, skips this space note right there where I put a green dot, and went up to this line. So we skip up, and then what? If you said step down, you're correct. Then what? Step down. Good. Now let's think of all of these notes as kind of one group. And now check out these next five notes. What do you notice? Let's see how they move again. Start on D, repeat, skip up, step down, step down. You'll notice it's the exact same pattern we had before. So inside our B, we have a, a little repeating pattern here. Now let's try to sing this in solfege. You'll remember since we're in D minor, D is Do. So we have Do, Do, Me, Re, Do. Now you sing. Point and sing with me. Go. Do, do, me, re, do. Repeat. Do, do, me, re, do. Now, let's hold up your left hand again and try these patterns. We saw that it started on do again, so we have do, then repeat, and then skip up, step down, step down. So together we get do, do, me, re, do. Now you try. Good, and then that pattern repeats again. Do, do, me, re, do. Now your turn. Good, now let's try with the lyrics. First we have stamp on the ground. Now you try. Notice how the skip happens on the word the. Then the next pattern goes tramp on the ground. Now your turn. Let's try it on the piano. So once again, let's let your left hand finger five come and land on this bass D. And let's try this pattern. We had start, repeat, skip up, step down, step down. Or in solfege, that's do, do, me, re, do. Now you try. Good. Now let's try it with lyrics. My turn. Stamp on the ground now. Your turn. And then we get tramp this time. Tramp on the ground now. Your turn. Now let's try putting both of those patterns together. Remember that the skip up happens on the word the. Stamp on the ground now. Tramp on the ground now. Your turn. Sing and play.
good. Now, again, if you need more practice, if that was a little bumpy and you'd like extra time to practice, just press pause and then when you're ready, you can keep going. Otherwise, let's go on back to the score. Now, let's take a look at this last line. Does this look like anything we've played before? If you said it looks like A, you're correct. This line matches exactly. Every note is exactly the same as what we played before on A. So the form of the whole piece is A, A, B, A. We call that the form of this piece. Now that we've analyzed the entire piece, let's hear how all these sections, A, A, B, A, fit together. Now, I'm going to play through the whole thing. You're welcome to listen, or if you'd like to try playing along, you can do that too. So with left hand finger five on D, we're going to play the wild horses. Ready, go. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. Stamp on the ground now. Tramp on the ground now. This is the dance of the wild and running horses. Now, a few things I wanted to remind you about your good piano posture. It's important to remember to keep a flexible wrist. When I'm playing of the wild, and I have those repeating notes on my thumb, you know, don't, don't hammer at the notes. It should feel like just a gentle bounce. See how I do that? Just really gentle drop into those keys. Of the wild. Also, please remember that when you play with your finger five, it should be playing near its tip, not flat like this, okay? So make sure all your fingers are in the correct shape, and then you just use your arm weight to try and drop into those keys. So now that you know how to play the entire song, it's up to you to practice many times every day. Remember to sing while you play, and for an extra challenge, you can try singing the solfege, or the rhythm words, or even the letter names. D, F, G, A. We've learned this in our left hand, but you could also try challenging yourself to play it in the right hand. Although in the next lesson, we'll learn how to add chords with our right hand while the left hand plays the melody. Nice work learning to play the wild horses today. Please practice carefully with your best piano posture until you can play it confidently. And then you'll be ready to add chords in our next lesson. Thanks for watching and happy practicing. Hmm, I do indeed like the notes of the D minor pentascale. It's made of such healthy ingredients. What do you mean healthy? Why, the notes are all natural. <laughs> Good one.